Hello, everybody. You are watching ABF Replay, recapping your week in music for the week of November 4th. I'm Jason Nightclair. Hi, y'all. Whitney Lane. So, this week in music is all about one thing. As per usual. As per usual. <laughs> Taylor Swift. So, her album 1989 came out last week, <laughs> and she is the first female artist ever to have three opening weeks of an album that sold more than a million copies. Which is, first of all, just insane. Insane. She's only 24. That, that actually makes me sick. I know. It makes me I'm like, what am I? God, <laughs> what, what am I, I doing, doing with my life? life? <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, but it is incredible. So you got to give it to the oh, girl. Oh, completely. She's about to break. We find out the record sales on Wednesday. She's about to break Britney Spears' record if she sells over 1.34 million albums. She'll break Britney Spears' record for the most... Open, the biggest this is so wordy the biggest opening week of any female artist I think it's gonna happen it better also we have to talk about Taylor Swift took her music entire catalog off of Spotify and you know Spotify is crying they are pissed but honestly I love Spotify and I love what they do but I think it is kind of cool that she's saying like you know what I made this I wrote every single one of these songs you have to pay for them. For art. That's what yeah. she's saying. Music is art. And as an artist, if you're going to listen to this, you should pay for it. It makes sense. And I think it is kind of presumptuous to just assume that you should be able to get every single album for free and listen to everything for free because there's not just Taylor Swift working on this. There's no. sound engineers. There's PAs. There's people on the marketing team. There's lots of people the that label, need to make money. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And that's the thing. Why not get more excited about buying it and then hearing the songs instead of listening to every single one of them on Spotify? And clearly people are still going to buy her music. See, that's the thing. Are. Nope. Yeah. Not going to hurt Tay Tay. You go, girl. <laughs> um, speaking of Tay Tay, she is no longer country. But you know I'm going to talk but about some are. country. <laughs> Let's talk chasing country this week, you guys. Oh, such good stuff. Now, this is kind of an interesting story because Taylor Swift is signed with Big Machine Label, which there's a brand new girl, female duo, Maddie and Tay. And if you have not heard Girl in a Country Song, you are missing out. Their brand new debut EP, self-titled, debuts today, November 4th. How cute are they, They're first so of all? Cute. And they are singing to all those boys that want you in your Daisy Dukes and just bikini tops. They're telling you, no, show us a little respect. And that's why I love these little girls. Aww. They are perfect, you guys. And literally, that is one song that will get stuck in your head. But interesting story. So Scott Borchetta, who found Taylor Swift, and wow, good job. Yeah. He actually was walking by the offices when these two girls were in there singing their song for the label. He walked in, and he's like, I love it. They wrote this song on St. Patrick's Day, and the luck of the Irish had it be that Scott would eventually sign them to Big Machine. That's so cool. So I love stories very, like that. Yeah, it's so fun. I mean, who would have thought? But tomorrow, you guys check out their debut EP. Now, something else that's happening this week in music, the 48th annual CMA Awards. Yes. These are the Oscars of country music, and it's about to be crazy. I love that the CMA Awards says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's Carrie amazing. and Brad are my favorite award show hosts. Seven They're times. So cute. And I cannot wait to see her outfit changes, even if she is Lil Preggers. But honestly, you guys, some amazing presenters. Okay, obviously, we've got some Connie Britton up in there. We have got Garth Brooks and his wife, Trisha Yearwood. Tim Tebow's coming to town. Oh, and right. Lucy Hale and Steven yes. Tyler. I mean, it's like really cool. So those are presenters. And then you get on to the performers, people. You've got to tell me which one your favorite's going to be because it is everybody and their brother. Oh, so many. Seriously. I, I love all the collaborations that happen too, isn't it? I think Megan somebody, Trainer Megan Trainer and Miranda. And Miranda Lambert. That'll be amazing. Ariana Grande's there with Little Big Town. It is going to be a show for the record books, and I can't wait to watch it. Woo. So I do want you guys to tune in to ABC tomorrow night. And who do you think is going to take home Entertainer of the Year? I want, let's, let's do this okay, right now. Okay, who are the nominees? Blake Shelton, George Strait, Keith Urban, Luke Bryan, or Miranda Lambert? I think Miranda Lambert deserves it. You know who's going to take it home. And you can bet me on this. George Strait. He's taking it home. That's the king of country. You know country more than mm -hmm. I do. I think it's time. The cowboy rides away. This is his last big, big hurrah. hurrah. Yeah. I do feel like Miranda Lambert has never gotten it. And she has done so much for it's women true. in country music that I feel like she deserves it. I get it. I think it can Girl be her year soon enough. Soon yeah. enough. But, okay, let's talk about her husband while we're at it. Little Blake Shelton there. Hello. On 60 Minutes, he got real and he got serious. Look at those blue eyes. I mean, 6'5", 
blue-eyed boy who sings about honeybees like Hallelujah. oh y'all he's good looking but he also talked a little bit and i love this because everybody's giving bro country a bad rap you mm-hmm. know well you know what he said i like pretty girls and i like drinking and I like singing about it. So get over it. And that's what he has to say about people kind of giving it a bad rap. He's the only bro country singer, though, that doesn't bother me. Because oh, I yeah. feel like he's authentic. I feel like the other ones are a little... He's great. You know, and he can open up. He got deep kind of sharing about losing his brother and also divorcing his first wife, which, you know, he met Miranda yeah. towards the end of that. So it's just interesting to sit down in 60 Minutes when he is such a fun, goofy guy on The yeah. Voice, see a serious side of him. Oh, Blake Shelton. Okay, you guys. Also, talking about somebody else new in country music, and this is an up-and-comer. His name is Chase Bryant, and he has a hit that is in the top 20 called Take It On Back. Chatted with this guy twice already in his career, and he's going to be huge. So check out this interview I did with him. And what a whirlwind for you. Crazy. Okay, so your single came out in July. Talk about the response to Take It On Back. It's amazing. Uh, Single's been out since July, and uh, Take It On Back is our first single. Like you said, it's... uh, it's now top 20. It's now the top 20 singles, so I think seven or eight weeks. And it's, you know, the response from country radio has been incredible, and the fans especially. So it's been awesome. So to be here today playing and getting to play the singles is going to be awesome, you know, and see how many people sing it back. So For sure. That's going to be Oh, y'all. So, obviously, I talked to him first in CMA Fest, then at Route 91 Harvest. And People Country, he just debuted his video for take it on back and they call him sexy and sentimental this 21 year old country singer and he has got a voice that will make the girls swoon so be sure and him and speaking of what's happening in gay music this week oh my god funny you ask (laughs) what a world so fifth harmony from x factor they're getting ready to release their debut lp and they just dropped a new single sledgehammer on itunes it was actually written by megan trainer and it's such a fun poppy song i tweeted the links out so you can get it there and their album got pushed back actually i think because we have so much new music coming out so it's going to come out right before christmas smart which is a very smart Mm -hmm. move but these girls are going to kill it they've already won a vma this year they've toured with demi lovato they've toured with austin mahone they are going to slay, and I can, I'm just going to call this album going to be a smash. He's calling it. You heard it, you here, got it here first. <laughs> also, another new music happening. Beyonce Ugh. is rumored to be dropping another surprise album. It's going to be called Beyonce Volume 2. So this happened last year at this time, yeah, right? Yeah, around this time, she completely dropped it out of nowhere. It got leaked on a couple of European sites where somebody sent out the press release, but it's going to be like a four disc album apparently there's 12 brand new music videos there's duets with rihanna on there how does she do this i have no idea how she does it or where she has the time or how we don't find out about it she's she is the queen she is a queen Ah. (laughs) grace also we have to talk about her halloween costume yes if you haven't seen you have to look it up she was janet jackson and blue was michael jackson and they were adorable Blue Ivy, she wreck, she's re- rock, rocking it, rocking. I hope, I hope she can sing. <laughs> let's pray because Please, she got. Yeah, let's pray to Beyonce with that those two parents. She can sing. I know she's got a little talent in there. Hello. Also, there was a weird rumor that went around this week because you know there's all these people that say, "Oh, Beyonce didn't really carry her baby." This fake site announced that Beyonce released a statement, so all of these blogs and stuff were up in arms. They're oh, like, no. "Oh, she finally admitted it. The site was fake." <laughs> so don't believe everything you read. We'll tell you the truth right here, right now. <laughs> Especially about Queen B. I also <laughs> sat down with Tokyo Hotel this week. Now these guys had a big career back that. in like they're so much fun. Actually, you are twin insane. brothers. I know, <laughs> just the three of us. <laughs> um, these guys are huge in Germany and Europe, and they've made had a lot of success in the U.S. Their new album released online. It comes out next Tuesday, the thirteenth. In, in stores physical copy but it debuted at number one in 25 different countries oh, wow. and it was in the top five and eight others that's amazing so they these guys are slaying it but they actually moved to la recently they were telling mm. me because when they were in germany and europe they were getting stalked there were so many they had to like file legal action against a couple different people because they're so big over there that they literally can't lead a normal life oh, so they told goodness. me a little bit about this so check it out so you guys were living in germany you moved to la sort of to be a little bit more 
undercover, I guess. Yeah. Is, was that important to you to just sort of go under the radar? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, totally. We, we came to LA to hide. So yeah. Yeah. a lot of people come, A lot of people move away from LA to hide. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's so many people, people come to LA to, you know, not hide and get successful. And uh -huh. start a career. Start so a career, for us, it was ideal to come here and hide between those people who yeah. want to okay. become successful. Um, yeah. So it, it worked out great. It worked great. Because in the Absolutely. end, it was just no fun for us in Europe anymore. And, and, and we just couldn't have, like, you know, a pr private life, you know, besides the career so we just we were just trying to find that and it worked out great like we were just having a good time here and we had you know um, the time to actually produce and write and concentrate on our music and build a home studio and all that so it was great they're so awesome they sound great I'm actually giving away an autograph CD on my Twitter so follow me on Twitter and tweet me all the rules are up there but if you want an autograph CD you can find me at Jason Eichler and I bet that's a good shamelessly one. plugging myself <laughs> Fine, fine. Now, we talked a little bit about CMS, but we got to wrap up with oh my God. the one, the only, Carrie, Carrie Underwood. Underwood. Look at her. She is so perfect. You guys, Entertainment Tonight just did a little bit of a behind the scenes of her music video for Something in the Water, and you can see... There she is filming it. I will. I mean, it's to die for. I'm sure. I cannot wait to see it. She's literally flawless. She's never not been perfect. And what's kind of cool is her new album, Greatest Hits, actually comes becomes pre-sale tomorrow or today, today, right the day before the CMA Awards. Perfect timing. But you know, I'll be getting my copy. Oh, I will too. She's the second American Idol to have a Greatest Hits album. Isn't that insane? Who was the first? Oh, a little unknown person called Kelly Clarkson. I knew it. I Ever knew heard it. of her? Uh, but Never. honestly, Idol <laughs> is still the only show that's had people with this successful of careers. There's something that they just turn out. Yeah, you know? there's something in the water. <laughs> there's something in the water, you guys. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, be sure to get that because, you know, and check out the video, the behind the scenes video. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah, I can't. So, Whit, what do you have coming for us next week? You guys, of course, we're going to do a great CMA Awards recap on After Buzz TV, actually, this Wednesday. So, sh be sure to check that out live. Next week, I'm bringing you another interview with Lindsay L. They are calling her your coolest new girl crush, Canadian, oh. you know, a.k.a. Shania Twain-esque. It's going to be good. Awesome. And I have an interview with an up-and-coming band called Some Kind of Wonderful. Oh, I already like that. And they are Some Kind of Wonderful. Mm -hmm, I wouldn't doubt it. Where can they find you in the meantime, Wit? You guys, find me on Twitter at Southern underscore Wit and Instagram, and I'll bring you all the latest for Chasing Country. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Jace Nyclair, and I'll bring you all the latest gay music. Oh, he's got <laughs> Hello. it. Hello. And you can find American Voice Factor at American Voice Factor. We'll see you guys back in here next week. Bye. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York.